Hello everyone. So as you can see, uh, I am not really uh, working right now. So usually I work in the morning. Uh, I mean, I do a lot of work, uh, like a lot of my important work that I have to do, uh, especially in the morning because I wake up uh, quite early. And uh, today I thought I'll probably just, uh, you know, talk to you guys because I don't really feel like uh, working today. And uh, the reason I'm making this video today is uh, on a topic of uh, how you can... Uh, increase your chances of uh, getting a better salary or maybe if you want to grow in your uh, in your job maybe you are uh, trying to uh, maybe get a promotion or maybe you want to just uh, uh, just just you know go up in your uh, in, in your company i mean in terms of the position or whatever work that you're doing now the thing is that if you are let us say a jira administrator uh, and you're probably familiar with uh, those things like uh, how to work on the configurations, how to create uh, workflows and uh, doing, you know, Jira admin work. I mean, you are probably already uh, very good in it. But the thing is that uh, this is, of course, a very common thing. A lot of people uh, know how to do it. And these days, of course, uh, things are moving towards cloud. So on cloud, when you talk about Jira admin skills, or the work that the, the scope of work that you will be doing is of course uh, you know uh, uh, not too different from server or data center version of jira but now on cloud uh, talking about jira admin skills jira admin skills i don't really think will be massively uh, valuable i mean it is still valuable i mean because a lot of people are doing it and there is a demand but it is it's more about uh, uh, supply and demand if more people are using jira cloud then of course there will be need for uh, many Jira administrators, which I believe is something that will help a lot of people who are trying to get a job or trying to build their career in, 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 in this Atlassian ecosystem. But at the same time, uh, you should also try to uh, do more. Don't really uh, stick to just doing uh, Jira admin work uh, for a long time. I think, in my opinion, uh, and, and by the way, I made a video called A Guide to Start Your uh, uh, your career, your Atlassian career, and I did mention things uh, or potential paths that you can take. Uh, for example, uh, you should, in my opinion, I think if you are into Jira admin work, then try to uh, also get into the consultation because uh, these two are totally different skills. If you are a consultant, uh, so first of all, who, what exactly is uh, an Atlassian consultant? So an Atlassian consultant is a person who helps others to get the most out of Atlassian tools and uh, usually these people are usually these people are uh, uh, are very good in uh, Jira admin or they know how Jira works they also know about uh, different uh, uh, apps that can be used in different scenarios now the thing is that when you talk about uh, uh, being a consultant I don't really think it is easy and at the, at the same time I also know a lot of people who are uh, really good at Lashen consultants, but they are not very good in uh, in uh, uh, the technical side or the admin sides, uh, side of things because you can always, you know, get around. You can always uh, fake slightly that, yes, I know these things, but you don't have to actually do it. You can actually get it done from someone else, uh, if you know what I mean, right? So the thing is that if you are a Jira administrator, you already have uh, a good start. For example, if you're starting your career or maybe, uh, you know, you got a job as a Jira admin, uh, then try to, uh, of course, learn more things. Try to, I mean, of course, we all have different situations. We all have uh, different, uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, the thing is that because we all have different uh, lives, we all have different jobs, we we, we will never really get uh, the same uh, opportunity like others. So things are definitely going to be different for everyone. But at the same time, you should try to do whatever you can uh, within your uh, within your limited uh, 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 maybe set of opportunities. Now, if you are a Jira administrator and you could be on Jira Cloud or Jira Admin, but what you should try to do is uh, maybe try to learn things on the automation side. Th this is what I always promote because I think when you have these skills, you can actually, uh, I mean, you can just ask your manager that, yes, I know how to do it. Please give me that work and I'll do it. For example, talking about automation, I did make this video recently where I talked about uh, uh, script now for Jira. So I think, I personally think if you know script now for Jira, uh, 
uh, then definitely it will help you uh, in your career because uh, that is really a good skill to have. But at the same time, because now uh, if you notice the announcement from Atlassian, automation uh, rules will now be free on Jira data center. I believe, uh, you know, starting from June, all the paying customers will probably get it for free. So basically, just like uh, uh, Insight and uh, Advanced Roadmap, now automation will also be part of your Jira Cloud, not Jira Cloud, Jira Data Center. So if you are using Jira uh, for doing admin work, then try to learn automation rule. It is, of course, absolutely simple thing that you can do. You don't really have to write any code. It is a, a no-code approach. And by the way, if you want to learn uh, Jira automation, then you can uh, go to my website, ravisaga.in. I have, I think, a lot of videos talk talking about different things that you can do with automation rule. And to be honest, once you start using automation rules, you will realize that it is, of course, very simple, very easy. And uh, of course, that is one thing. Uh, even learning just automation will probably not really give you the edge. If you, don't, if you really want to shine, if you really want to uh, uh, make yourself uh, or show yourself as... Uh, a better candidate for the promotion then uh, try to learn other things as well and uh, at the same time uh, also uh, i mean I, I'm, I'm making this video for jira administrators right so if you're a jira administrator don't really limit yourself to doing things within jira also learn about the apps so of course i mentioned uh, you know automation rule which is not really an app on cloud it is like built-in cloud but on server it will be on data center it will be now a native feature at the same time learn about reporting because a lot of people use EVBI. now if you're working in a company where you are only doing support then i think you are in a way trying to not uh, i mean if you are doing support for a long time i mean doing support is a wonderful thing to learn uh, new things about uh, the tool uh, but at the same time, uh, support is a bit limiting job because uh, you will be just uh, doing the same kind of work uh, for many years. So don't really uh, don't really do support for a long time. Uh, or, I mean, do support, but only do it if you have to do it. But try to focus on uh, uh, learning new skills. And I think if you are a Jira administrator, then definitely there is a potential uh, to become a consultant. If you are a consultant, then you will definitely get paid more and the job of the consultant is not really on the tool side it's more about uh, guiding the customers because i am a consultant of course i am on the tech side because i uh, i'm a geek right so I, I do a lot of things on computer and I'm, I'm i'm of course not really limiting myself to just using jira jira is of course one main tool that i use one of my main competency but i also do other things i i spend uh, i think uh, far more time uh, writing shell scripts uh, or uh, or basically customizing my 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 uh, arch linux uh, operating system more than uh, more than i spend on jira to be honest and uh, uh, i also use uh, you know drupal I mean, this is what i do by the way uh, but of course my main competency in 2022 it is uh, definitely at atlassian and uh, you know jira of course but at the same time uh, uh, I, I don't really think uh, if tomorrow uh, Jira goes away or if let us say the skills or the Jira admin skills that of course right now the skills are relevant uh, but you never really know because uh, if, if everyone is imagine that 95% of, uh, uh, of of companies who use Jira they move to cloud which I guess is happening I, I'm not really sure about the exact percentage but uh, uh, irrespective of the revenue if you talk about uh, number of companies, number of uh, clients who are moving toward uh, cloud, I think it will definitely uh, be a lot more. Uh, in maybe maybe by maybe by next year because uh, Jira there is no Jira server version anymore. So people are always looking at Jira using Jira on the on the cloud and on cloud uh, the the relevance of uh, Jira administrator is not like it used to be because uh, uh, on cloud you just have access to this uh, ui right uh, you don't really have access to the java apis you don't really have, have access to the to the server and uh, i think it is easy for anyone to pick up jira cloud administration but at the same time uh, if it is easy then it, it also means that uh, there will be a lot of people doing it right so uh, my job or my responsibility on this channel because you know you guys uh, follow my 
videos, you send me messages and you ask me questions, I have to be honest with you that uh, uh, if you are uh, learning Jira Cloud Administrator, great. Uh, it is easy to learn, but 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 if it is easy, then it, it also means that there are a lot of other people who are like you. So you, if you have to shine, if you have to add uh, more skills, then uh, try to become a consultant. Try to also expand your uh, your your skills, uh, and don't limit yourself to just uh, modifying workflows and creating issue types and uh, permission schemes in Jira. That is great. That is wonderful. But uh, that is not what you want to do. Uh, for five years of your life and uh, to be honest I don't really think uh, I mean just to give you my example I don't even remember the last time I made uh, uh, an issue type scheme or workflow scheme I mean, to be honest I don't really remember like if I did any like proper Jira admin configuration in, 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 the, in the last few months or in the last six months I mean of course I do it uh, whenever I have to but uh, uh, I'm a consultant. I'm more focused on uh, guiding my customers. And at the same time, uh, if I have to, uh, let us say, write a script, I will write a script. But at the same time, I don't really do it uh, all the time. I mean, I, I'm not really, I mean, I used to be a Jira admin, which I still am. But this is probably like only like 5% of or 10% of uh, if I look at my activity from like from the start in the morning, I do very little Jira admin work, to be honest. And uh, uh, I'm just sh sharing this and making this video because uh, I think uh, a lot of people are moving toward uh, uh, Atlassian tools in terms of their career. They are also trying to explore whether, whether they can build their uh, career in this particular ecosystem. Yes, you can. And uh, if you watch my guide to start your Atlassian career video, I, of course, try to explain uh, the whole process. So, uh, so do it. Uh, start learning Atlassian tools, maybe, you know, I mean, you don't have to be honest, I, I don't really think you have to, like, uh, do a course. Uh, if you're if you're an individual and if you if you have time, I think uh, you can do everything on your own. These days it is so, it's so simple and easy. Just go and sign up for a free cloud instance, start using it, start modifying it, uh, and of course, uh, learn various things that you can do with it. Also go to the community. And also make videos if you want. Uh, and if you are watching this video and if you want to be part of my channel, uh, maybe, you know, reach out to me. We can probably, you know, make a video together. I mean, I do it sometimes whenever I have time, but usually I'm very busy with my work. But when I, whenever I get the opportunity to uh, talk to other people, I do that. And I, at the same time, I would love to uh, invite you on my channel if you want to share something or if you want to just you know have a conversation with me i would love to do that so reach out to me so that is that is basically all i wanted to uh, talk about in this video uh, don't limit yourself to only jira administration right all right that is all that is all bye bye